Hi YouTubes. Here we are on Greenland's map. Today we're going to build a small farm. This isn't necessarily the right way to do it. But I'll show you the way I do it. I've been asked a few times how I got rid of this, how I got rid of that. So we're going to do a small farm. Not on the main farm, we'll use, I think, the farm, small farm called Greenside, I think it's called. So, we'll go find it. Right, somewhere down this road on the right hand side. Like I said, it's only a small farm. There's the main farm on the left there, Greenlands. Now I do edit some of the maps to my own taste not taking anything away from the map builders because they do a brilliant job I just like to make things my own as do a lot of us but sometimes oh gone past it there we go green side farm yeah as I was saying sometimes you might like a different house or to remove something that isn't to your taste and sometimes it's not replaceable so you have to go into Giants Editor now I'm not brilliant on Giants Editor but I know enough to get me by so here we are at the main farm as I said it's only a small little farm house, garage you can't use No sleep triggers anywhere, but one is provided in the build menu. And these sheds I think are a bit too big for this small farm, so... I think we'll keep the little sheep pen. But for this build, the cows will be going. So let's go into build mode and see what we can do. Right, so first things to go, get rid of the cows. I've started this as farm manager but when we go back to desktop I will add some more money just so we can build whatever we like and not have to worry about money right so we'll get rid of that one and that one see these obviously you can't move so I think that's about, apart from the sheep pen, which I want to keep. I think it looks like that's all we can sell. So we'll come back out of build mode. So we've opened it up quite a bit. I would like a different house, a different shed, so I'll see you on the desktop.
So here we are back on desktop. I've already moved the map folder over to a new folder and unzipped it, which you can do obviously using your preferred unzip program, WinZip or 7-Zip or whichever one you prefer. So we'll open up that folder, the unzip folder, go into maps. And then this is the one you're looking for. Most of the maps will have the same, well, all maps will have a map i3d file, which is the main file. If you want to edit any placeables, like if you want the sheep to have more um, capacity and stuff like that, you can do that within the placeables. So cow barn. Sheep barn. Right, so we're going to go into the map. Some maps are easier to navigate than others, depending on the map builder. So some things could be hard to find. So that's the main farm, which we don't want. So we want to find our farm. And on this map, it's nicely laid out. So there's Greenside Farm, that's the one we want. So if we select it, then look, at, and we can find it over there. So now we just scroll over to there. This may take a while. So here we are at Greenside Farm. As you'll see, all the bits that we just deleted are back. But they're just visual placeholders. So first we'll delete the house. And make sure you get the whole house, then just select a small part of it. As you'll see on the left, sometimes you'll see some linked files. So it could be that the house is made up, it has separate windows, doors. So if you delete just the house part, you'll have a load left behind. So make sure that you get the whole bit. So we'll delete that one. And the garage. And now we've got a power line going nowhere, so. We'll just delete that. Our cables are running underground. Now what we're going to do is hit the play button up here. Make sure there's no collisions. They'll show up red. And as you can see, there were no collisions on the house. Which is good. I think we'll also get rid of this fence. Because we don't know what we're going to be building yet. So we'll remove that. So just hit and delete. I think we'll remove these wood piles as well. And every few steps, I'll go back into the play button and just make sure I haven't missed any collisions. So now we're gonna get rid of all the sheds. As you see, we had a bunker on this one, so what we'll do, as I sh said earlier, check on the left like I just didn't. Make sure you've got the whole thing, so we'll get rid of that now. And it'll be the same here, so as you'll see there, you've got a garage. This whole folder 
is part of the same thing, so we'll delete that. Again, check for collisions, there are none. As you can see, we're left with a load of junk. So we'll delete that one by one, because again, sometimes there are linked files. Now also you'll have these oil slicks. They can get in the way of building, so we'll get rid of them as well. You can always add ground stains later. So the sheep we're keeping. We'll check again for any collisions. And there's one there. So now we're going to have to find, or is it a placeholder? It's a placeholder. Make sure that it doesn't use any anywhere else. So we'll come out of play. Hopefully that's just for this farm, we'll check. So we'll delete that, back to the collisions and there are now none. And just to be far, I'm going to get rid of the placeholders as well. As you can see, we left a lot of stuff so we'll go on to cow barn there delete that again we'll delete that check for collisions again there are none So I think we're there. We could, if there are trees that you don't want, and things like that, you can select those and remove them while we're here. Or you can just go and cut them down in the actual game. Same for the hedges, fences, And obviously we could get rid of the sheep barn as well if we wanted to. But like I said, I want to keep that one for this build, so we'll now save this. As you can see down there, it's saved. As I've said, this isn't a particularly powerful computer. But it does okay. I think it's only a 10th gen i5 and a 3060. Graphics, 32 gig memory. Not great, but it works. So, right now we're going to come back out here. Now, don't get rid of that one because that's your main, that's the original file. So, we're going to select these.
and re-zip them. And that will drop back in mods. So that's that done. I'll see you back on the map. So here we are back in the map. As you can see, we've landed back at Greenland's farm. Because obviously we haven't got a sleep sugar down anywhere. But because I strategically placed a nice mini, we can just tab to the car. And just like that, we're on our farm. There's nothing left. So I think first things first, we'll pick a house. Now I've chosen some mods to go in. Obviously, everything's your own choice, your own taste. So we'll go back into construction mode. So we'll leave the house where it was, but as you can see, the fence and all the other stuff's out of the way now. And those logs or planks. So let's pick a house. Now we could go for the nice modern UK. Hmm. I think we'll go for this one. Now obviously we've got a bit of a hill there so it's going to flatten out something. And you can build to grid. As we can see, there's a square edge there, so we could use that one. Makes it easier when placing your grass if you want it in a nice straight line and things like that. So we'll come down. I think we'll place it. Leave some space for parking. Obviously leave some space to get through that gate for the farm equipment. I think we'll put it about there. So, as you can see, we've dug a bit into the ground. So we'll just smooth that out a bit. Make it look a bit more natural. So there we go. Now we're putting some sheds. Again, I've chosen a few different mods to get the best 
And obviously there are some in-game ones and also some of the maps, the models will have some of their own sheds. As soon as we're going for a new build, well not new new, but obviously we've got things like this, but that's way too big for this map, uh, for this farm. So we're looking for smallish sheds. So this pack matches in nicely the colour wise with the shed for the sheep so we'll try a couple of these obviously placement bearing in mind there's doors on that side as well so if we place it here somewhere down there let me see what else we can find so we've got the sheep there so it might not be nice to have something to put their bales in So if we've got sheep and lots of grass fields, we could also do with a bunker. So if we do a bunker next. Now again. We have the in-game bunkers, which are quite large. The modders added a couple. But I'm going to go for open, I think. No, I don't like that one. It looks like Lego. So this is my usual favourite to go for. So this is, we've got a nice space here where the cows were actually let's put a something in first for the bales so we don't get in the way of that Go there with that. We'll go back to silos. Put a bunker in. Obviously this field we can plough out to whatever shape. We'll get rid of this if we so wish. there with that we could double up but it's only a small farm so now we'll have an M wall now it says overlaps but here 
hit V and there we go. So there's our bunker. So we're coming on. I think all we need now is a small silo. down and see what we've done. So a nice big shed for storage, storing the machines. Big silo. We've got a bunker. A nice big area where we can either put machinery or bales. So now it's just making it look pretty. So we'll go back into build mode. I think I'm going to put a small fence here so I've got stone walls installed as well but I don't think we really want a stone wall there it's not really in keeping with everything else we could have a nice cut hedge. Or we could just go into a nice wooden fence. of my parking area here so I'm guessing this is gravel, no nope. is it asphalt? no nope. so we haven't actually got this texture so I'm going to do gravel I think
much in there. Now we just need to put some grass back. So again, obviously we're not matching with this meadow grass. So again, another mod. So the new low grass here, so we'll follow that. So oh, there we go. So now obviously we can't match up this surface if we haven't got it. So I'll use again the gravel. Let's go around the buildings. I'll come back when I've finished. Well, here we are back again. Finished the build. As I've said, this is only for fun. I'd normally spend a lot more time doing my builds, but... So we have the house and got the dog in. Bit of decoration. We've blended in, well, blended in the best we can with the gravel. I'll put another small lean-to type shed here. So there we go. Not the greatest builder. I enjoy what I do. I have a lot of fun doing this type of thing. So if you're actually still watching this and got to the end, I appreciate it very much. Subscribe if you want to, comment if you want to, good or bad. And again, thanks for watching.
see you next time.